always a rainbow within reach on animal song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Now I know my A, B, C, Next time, won't you sing with me? Now this time, let's sing together. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Now I know my A, B, C. Next time, won't you sing with me? That was lovely. Hello, friend. It's so good to see you again. Fox! Fox! That sounds like Pig. Let's see what's happening. Fox, where are you? You said you'd play with me and now I can't find you. <laughs> Fox, where are you? <laughs> I heard that giggle, but where are you? <laughs> I'm right here, pig! But where is here? Here I am! I've been looking for you. I wanted to play a game together. Where were you? I was up in the tree! You were up in the tree? Fox, Pig, you both just used the letter of the day! We did? The letter T makes the sound T in tree. Listen. T, T, tree. Now you try. T, T, tree! Terrific! I was in the top of the tree! <laughs> Ooh, you just used the letter of the day again! T -t -t top! T -t -t top! <gasps> You're right! I'm upset that I couldn't find you. I wanted to play a game together. What game do you want to play? Hide and seek! <laughs> okay! Can I hide first? Yeah, I'll start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. While Pig looks ten. for Fox again, Maybe here are here more words that begin with the letter T. Tiger. T. -t, -t Tiger. <laughs> Turtle. 
Turtle. T. T. Turtle. Tree. T. T. Tree. Train. T. T. Train. What letter do all these words start with? T. That's right. The letter T. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Goose, can we trace a letter? Absolutely. Let's practice making the letter T. Who can think of a fun way to do it? Ooh, ooh, I know. Let's trace letters on the dirt using the watering can. Well, that sounds like a great idea. Pig, why don't you go first? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Great! I'll try next! <laughs> T! Ah. Terrific tracing! Now, let's trace the lowercase letter. I want to try! T. Ooh. Nice job. My turn. T. You did it! Let's look at the letters we made. What's this letter? T! Exactly! Uppercase T. And what's this letter? T! That's right! Lowercase T. Nice job! Nice work, everybody! Thank you, Mr. Goose! T! Hey, everybody! Let's practice our letters by playing the alphabet game! Yay! I want to hear you, too! Let's all play the alphabet game When I show you a letter, say its name Are you ready? Yeah! What's this letter? I! What's this letter? J! What's this letter? L! What's this letter? T! Now let's do it fast! Everybody. That's how you play the alphabet game when you see a letter. You say its name! Woo! The letter T! <laughs> it's story time! Yay! Gather round, everyone. We're reading this one. It's called Don't Wake the Baby. In this story, a brother and sister try to be very quiet so they don't wake the baby. Let's see if they're successful. Let's begin. Don't wake the baby. 
Written and illustrated by Win T. Kim Lien. Translated by Alicia Berger. Ever since Mom came back with the baby, Eve and John have not been happy. They are not allowed to make noise when the baby is sleeping. But the baby is always sleeping. They are not allowed to run in the house. They are not allowed to chat at snack time. They are not allowed to scream no matter what. But the toughest rule is this one. When the baby is asleep, Eve and John must whisper. If they want to laugh, they can only giggle softly. But one day, the story they are reading is so funny that they can't help laughing. Oh, no! The baby is sleeping! The baby wakes up crying. Mom is angry. She yells at them to go play outside. Eve is sad. She doesn't like being yelled at. John comforts her. He says that it will be more fun to play outside. They can be as loud as they want. After playing soccer for a while, Eve and John are happy again. John kicks the ball. Goal! The ball flies across the garden. Bang! Oh no, the baby is awake. What will happen now? The baby cries. The baby is so loud that his crying breaks the milk bottle. It cracks the pot. It cracks the window. The baby is so loud that his crying lifts the roof off. Their brother won't stop crying. Eve and John rush inside. Eve holds the baby and sings, but the baby keeps crying. John dances. He does tricks. But the baby keeps crying. What makes a baby stop crying? Oh, soon Eve and John are crying too. Mom picks up the baby. She comforts him. She sings a lullaby. The baby stops crying. Now Eve and John understand. It's impossible for babies to be quiet, so it's better to just not make noise. Shh. The end. Thank you, Mr. Goose. Thank you for reading with me. Kids, it's time for a sing-along with Mr. Frog. Yay! Remember to say hello when you see him. Hello, kids. Hello, hello Mr. Mr. Frog. Look what I have today. Now, who remembers what this is called? A keyboard. That's right. And my keyboard makes all kinds of sounds. What's this? A dog. And this? A car horn. And how about this? Rain! You've got good ears. Mr. Frog, why would you want to make rain sounds on your keyboard? That's a good question. Today's song is called Rain, Rain, Go Away. So I thought we should start it with some rain sounds. Let's give it a try. I'll sing first and then you can all join in. Rain, rain, go away, come again some other day. Mr. Frog wants to play, rain, rain, go away. Now then, who else wants to play? <laughs> okay, Fox, tell me the name of a friend. Um, Monkey. Splendid. Let's sing the song together and we'll use Monkey's name. 
Here we go. Rain, rain, go away. Come again some other day. Monkey <laughs> wants to play. Rain, rain, go away. Monkey, whose name do you choose? I think Pig wants to play. Okay, let's sing about Pig. Rain, rain, go away. Come again some other day. Shall we sing about next? Hedgehog! Splendid! Here we go! Rain, rain, go away Come again some other day Hedgehog <laughs> wants to play Rain, rain, go away Now we need to sing about Fox! Yes, we do! Let's sing about Fox! wants to play too. Okay, this time sing all our friends want to play. Ready? Rain, rain, go away. Come again some other day. All our friends want to play. Rain, rain, go away. That was wonderful. Thank you, Mr. Frog. Frog. Here's something we already did. Let's do it again. We're about to practice our counting together. Come on. One, two, three, four. Don't stop now, let's count some more. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're doing great. When we see some flowers, or butterflies or stars We count so we can find out How many things there are bum, ba, da, bum, bum. Let's look for things to count Oh, I'm not very good at counting by myself You're not very good yet I'll help you Let's count Z-stars one, two, three, four. Four sea stars. Now let's count shells together. One, two, three. How many in all? Three. Yeah, you got it. Now you try, Hedgehog. Count the rocks. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. So how many rocks are there in all? Six! You did it! Thanks, monkey. Hey, I have an idea. Let's count all the grains of sand on the beach. Yeah! Yeah! That may take a while. See you soon. I see you. Hi. Whee! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Goodbye. And now it's time to say goodbye. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, let's stop to say goodbye before we say hello again. We need to say goodbye. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> time to rest. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. 
Good. Listen. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, Mary went, Mary went. Everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow.